Today, I'm gonna to talk about the 360 electric mirror turntable. Is it worth it? For what I paid for, $30.65. I bought this, um, when did I buy it? October of last year. I have other Lazy Susans. I have a big one and I have a manual one. Now, I needed something that is portable and small and I saw this on Amazon and it looked uh, appealing on my end because it has several different top plates that you can use. And I've used this several times already for food photography uh, and video. And uh, I'm sorry, mostly video actually. And the reason why I actually bought into it is because there's all these interchangeable plates that you can use um very handy they all comes in different colors there's a white there's a smooth and there's a flat version and there's this beige and there's a black and a, and a uh, glossy and a matte version so having this has made some of my shoots very convenient but I would not use this on a high quality, uh, big budget shoot. This is only meant for uh, like quick social media stuff that I, I do uh, for food restaurants and, and and something of like gags and stuff like that. But I would not use this for professional high end shoots because there is some issues with these things. Um, I even put a uh, gaffer tape around this because of a reflection when I was shooting one time. I try to cover these up uh, with gaffer tape so that way the reflection doesn't come in the camera uh, because I try to shoot it in the dark. Um, the thing I like about it is portable. You can run um, power through this and run it off a, uh, a portable battery that you can use. and can plug it with a USB so that makes it convenient now what I don't like about it is it's got one speed and it's really hard to um, control it and I don't know if you can hear it there's a cranking there sometimes that happens and it kind of probably falls off into its groove and some of the shots might have a little bounce but eventually it gets to its position and spins uh, normally but yeah I would monitor if you're using this for video uh, there's times that it will jump um, and he'll have uh, movement on it but for the price of $30.65 um it's actually not bad like i said i've used it on several low-end shoots and it's done fine for me and these top plates are easy to clean if i get food uh dribble on this i just wipe it down uh, i keep using it um, for other smaller projects so do i recommend this sure if you feel like uh there's cheaper ones out there you might consider it but for me, this uh, had a very, um, it was very useful for me. Uh, I have the bigger ones that uh, rotate and uh, with, I believe they rotate 360 within like a minute and 20 seconds. It's a lot slower. This rotates really fast. So yeah, it just depends if you uh, are on a pinch and you need a Lazy Susan not for high quality stuff and, and, and the controls. I would recommend this if, if you're looking for specific movement or control of the Lazy Susan. Uh, this is a lot faster and it just uh, it has a, uh, it has movements on this thing that might bother you if you're shooting video. But for small jobs, like I said, I would probably recommend it. So. Uh, I've had it since October last year, and I probably use this about once a month. All right. If you have any questions, comment below, and you can find this on Amazon. And uh, I will see you on the next video. Peace.